Did you know that the average adult experiences an astounding 50 to 70 stress-related symptoms daily? If you want to navigate the chaos of modern life and cultivate a sense of calm amidst the whirlwind, you need to learn the art of staying centered. In a world that glorifies hustle and busyness, it's easy to get swept away in the tide of stress and anxiety. But what if I told you that the key to thriving in this fast-paced environment lies not in trying to do more, but in mastering the ability to remain calm and focused? The best part? It's not as elusive as it may seem. By embracing timeless stoic principles and practical strategies, you can transform your approach to stress, fostering a deep sense of inner peace that enhances both your personal and professional life. So, avoid the common mistake of letting the world's chaos dictate your emotional state. Instead, join me on this journey as we explore powerful techniques and insights that will empower you to cultivate calmness and resilience in every aspect of your life. Let's dive in. Number 1. Practice Negative Visualization Imagine for a moment that you're standing on the precipice of your dreams. You have aspirations, ambitions that light a fire within you, and the world feels vibrant and full of potential. The thrill of possibility dances in your mind. Now picture that feeling washing over you every day. Yet, as exhilarating as that sounds, we often overlook a powerful practice that can ground us amidst our desire's negative visualization. This technique may initially seem counterintuitive, but it's one of the pillars of Stoic philosophy. It asks us to envision our lives without the things we cherish, pushing us to confront our fears and appreciate what we have. Negative visualization isn't about pessimism or wallowing in sorrow, it's about perspective. By imagining the worst-case scenarios, losing your job, facing illness, or even losing loved ones, you allow yourself to step back and reassess your priorities. This practice forces you to appreciate your current situation more deeply. It encourages gratitude for the mundane and the extraordinary alike. When you visualize losing your health, for example, it prompts you to embrace your well-being today. This can transform your mindset, allowing you to savor every moment rather than taking it for granted. Think back to moments in your life when you faced loss or change. Maybe it was the time you were separated from a friend or the day you realized your job was at risk. Initially, those experiences might have felt crushing, but as time passed, you likely found clarity. You discovered resilience in yourself you didn't know existed. Negative visualization taps into that resilience. By regularly reflecting on what life would be like without certain comforts, you prepare your mind for the inevitable changes that life brings. The practice becomes a gentle reminder that nothing is permanent, urging you to cherish the present. So, what if you were to try this practice? How would your life shift if you dedicated just a few minutes each day to consider what you stand to lose? Would you embrace your relationships with renewed vigor? Would you tackle your daily challenges with a sense of purpose, knowing that life's fragility makes every moment count? As you explore this powerful technique, ponder how it might reshape your perception of happiness and fulfillment, guiding you toward a deeper appreciation of the life you're living right now. Number 2. Develop a morning routine. There's something undeniably uplifting about the start of a new day, a fresh canvas awaiting your strokes. The sun rises, casting warm light across your room, filling the space with a promise of new beginnings. You awaken with energy, ready to seize the day ahead. However, amidst this beauty, Many of us find ourselves rushing, stumbling through the morning like half-asleep zombies, barely making it out the door. What if instead, we embraced the power of a morning routine to transform our days from chaotic to intentional? Developing a morning routine can set the tone for your entire day. 
It's not just about waking up and checking your phone. It's about crafting a series of intentional actions that nurture your mind and body. Consider starting with moments of gratitude, reflecting on what you appreciate in your life. Follow that with a quick meditation or breathing exercise to center your thoughts. Maybe you indulge in a nourishing breakfast that fuels your body or engage in physical activity that releases endorphins and gets your blood flowing. Establishing a routine might seem daunting, especially if you've never committed to one before. However, the key is to start small. Choose a few activities that resonate with you and gradually build upon them. Over time, these actions become second nature, guiding you into a state of readiness and positivity. A well-structured morning can enhance your focus, reduce stress, and even improve your overall mood. When you create a space for mindfulness at the start of your day, you're more likely to navigate challenges with grace and clarity. Reflect on your childhood mornings. Perhaps there was a certain smell of breakfast wafting through the air, or the sound of your family bustling around, preparing for the day. Those routines, whether simple or elaborate, provided structure and comfort. As we grow older, it's easy to lose that sense of intentionality. Reclaiming the essence of those mornings can provide a comforting sense of familiarity, grounding us in our daily lives. It allows us to reconnect with that childlike excitement we once felt when faced with the unknown of a new day. Now, imagine crafting your own morning ritual. What elements would you include? Would you want to read a few pages of an inspiring book, practice a hobby, or simply savor a moment of stillness? What if your mornings became a sanctuary, a space where you could cultivate positivity and purpose? As you explore this concept, think about the ways a morning routine could enrich your life, allowing you to approach each day with intention and clarity, opening the door to countless possibilities. Number three, use the dichotomy of control. Picture yourself walking through a beautiful park on a crisp sunny day, with laughter ringing in the air and the smell of fresh flowers all around you. There's a lightness to your steps, a sense of ease that comes from being present. In this moment, life feels manageable, but we all know that external forces can shift our moods in an instant. The world is unpredictable, and trying to control everything around us can lead to frustration and disappointment. Enter the stoic concept of the dichotomy of control, a profound practice that can bring peace amidst chaos. The dichotomy of control is a fundamental principle in Stoicism that teaches us to distinguish between what we can control and what we cannot. It's a simple yet powerful concept. We have control over our thoughts, actions and reactions, but we cannot control external events, the behavior of others or the outcomes of our efforts. Understanding this distinction is crucial for maintaining mental clarity and emotional stability. When you face a challenge, ask yourself, is this something I can control? If the answer is yes, focus your energy on that aspect. If not, let it go. This practice helps to alleviate anxiety and stress as you shift your mindset from feeling overwhelmed by the uncontrollable to empowering yourself through your responses. For example, when dealing with a difficult co-worker, you can control how you choose to react to their behavior, but you cannot change their actions. By internalizing this principle, you cultivate a sense of resilience, enabling you to navigate life's unpredictability with grace. Think back to moments when you felt overwhelmed by circumstances beyond your control. Perhaps it was a job loss or a relationship that didn't work out. Those experiences can feel crushing, leaving us questioning our worth and direction. However, as time goes on, many of us gain clarity. We realize that those moments, while painful, can lead to unexpected opportunities and growth. Embracing the dichotomy of control allows us to revisit those memories with a different perspective.
recognizing that our strength lies in how we respond to life's uncertainties rather than in trying to orchestrate every detail. What if you could apply this concept to your daily life? How would your approach to stress and challenges change if you focused solely on what you can control? Would you find yourself more at peace, less reactive to external pressures? As you delve into the practice of the dichotomy of control, consider the potential for transformation. The more you embrace this stoic principle, the more liberated you may feel, allowing you to cultivate a sense of calm and resilience amidst life's inevitable ups and downs. Number four, cultivate mindfulness. Imagine standing on a sunlit beach, the gentle waves lapping at your feet, each crest a reminder of the beauty of the present moment. You can feel the warmth of the sun on your skin and hear the laughter of friends and family in the distance. This idyllic scene captures the essence of mindfulness, the art of being fully present, engaged and aware. In our fast-paced lives, however, it's easy to lose that sense of connection to the present, becoming consumed by worries about the future or regrets about the past. Cultivating mindfulness allows us to reclaim that connection, fostering a deeper appreciation for life's simple joys. Mindfulness is more than just a buzzword. It's a practice rooted in ancient traditions that encourages us to bring our attention to the here and now. It involves focusing on our thoughts, feelings and sensations without judgment, creating a sense of awareness that can transform our daily experiences. By dedicating time to mindfulness, we enhance our ability to respond to life's challenges with clarity rather than reacting impulsively. Start by incorporating simple mindfulness techniques into your daily routine. This could be as straightforward as taking a few deep breaths before a meeting, engaging in a short meditation, or even mindful walking, where you focus on each step and the sensations of the ground beneath you. These practices create a bridge to a more centered and intentional way of living. Research shows that mindfulness can reduce stress, improve emotional regulation, and enhance overall well-being. As we become more attuned to our thoughts and feelings, we also learn to recognize patterns that may lead to anxiety or negativity, empowering us to break free from those cycles. Consider moments in your life when you felt completely in tune with your surroundings, perhaps during a family gathering, a hike through the mountains, or while sharing a meal with loved ones. Those experiences often feel like snapshots of joy but they can also remind us of times when we were distracted, lost in thought, or preoccupied with worries. How often have you sat at a dinner table with family, yet your mind was elsewhere, scrolling through your phone or fretting about work? Recollecting these moments allows us to appreciate the richness of presence and serves as a gentle reminder to cultivate mindfulness in our everyday lives. By practicing mindfulness, we create opportunities to savor these moments. Imagine how different your daily experiences could be if you actively engaged with them, recognizing the tastes, sounds and sights around you. Remembering those past instances can inspire you to choose presence over distraction, enhancing your relationships and overall satisfaction. Now ask yourself, what if you dedicated just a few minutes each day to mindfulness? How might it change your interactions, your productivity, or even your stress levels? As you explore mindfulness, think about the various forms it can take. Could you try guided meditation, or perhaps journal your thoughts in a mindful manner? The potential for transformation is immense, and each step toward mindfulness opens the door to a more fulfilled and enriched life. Number 5. Embrace discomfort. Imagine standing on the edge of a diving board, the cool breeze brushing against your skin, your heart racing with excitement and anticipation. It's a moment of exhilaration, knowing you're about to leap into the refreshing water below. Yet many of us hesitate at that edge, 
gripped by the fear of discomfort. We shy away from challenges that push us out of our comfort zones, preferring the familiar, the safe. However, embracing discomfort can unlock new levels of growth, resilience and fulfillment, turning the fear of the unknown into an adventure of self-discovery. Embracing discomfort is about recognizing that growth often lies on the other side of fear. It's a mindset shift that allows you to view challenges not as threats, but as opportunities for growth. Whether it's tackling a difficult project at work, initiating a tough conversation, or trying a new activity that scares you, these moments of discomfort can lead to profound insights and personal development. Begin by identifying areas in your life where you feel uncomfortable. Perhaps it's public speaking, meeting new people, or stepping into leadership roles. Instead of avoiding these situations, lean into them. Take small steps to expose yourself to discomfort gradually. For instance, if public speaking terrifies you, start by sharing your thoughts in small group settings, building confidence until you feel ready for larger audiences. By consistently stepping outside your comfort zone, you expand your boundaries and cultivate resilience. This practice not only helps you grow personally, but can also enhance your professional life. Embracing discomfort encourages innovation and creativity. When you're willing to take risks, you open yourself up to new ideas and perspectives, fostering an environment where growth can thrive. Research shows that individuals who embrace discomfort tend to report higher levels of satisfaction and achievement. Think back to a time when you faced discomfort and chose to lean into it. Maybe it was that first time you spoke in front of a group, the nervousness coursing through you, yet afterward feeling an exhilarating rush of accomplishment. Those moments of discomfort can become defining experiences, shaping our confidence and abilities. As you reminisce, consider how each time you faced discomfort, you emerged stronger and more capable. Recollect the courage it took to try something new, whether it was traveling alone, taking up a challenging hobby, or even confronting a fear. Those memories not only inspire pride, but also remind you that discomfort is often a precursor to growth. It's a reminder of your resilience and the exciting potential that lies beyond the initial unease. What if you began to see discomfort as a friend rather than a foe? How would that change your approach to challenges? Would you seek out opportunities that initially intimidate you? As you contemplate this shift in mindset, think about the different areas in your life where embracing discomfort could lead to growth. The possibilities are endless, and every step you take into the unknown can be a leap toward discovering your true potential. Number six, practice gratitude. Picture a beautiful sunset, the sky ablaze with oranges and pinks, illuminating the world in a breathtaking display. In that moment, a wave of contentment washes over you. Gratitude has a unique power to elevate our spirits, making us feel connected to something greater. Yet as life sweeps us along in its rush, it's all too easy to forget to pause and reflect on the blessings around us. Practicing gratitude can transform our perspective, allowing us to appreciate the richness of our lives even amidst challenges. Gratitude is more than a fleeting emotion, it's a conscious practice that can significantly enhance our mental and emotional well-being. Research has shown that regularly expressing gratitude can lead to improved mood, increased resilience and even better physical health. The act of acknowledging what we're thankful for shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have, fostering a sense of abundance and joy. Begin by incorporating gratitude into your daily routine. You might start a gratitude journal, writing down three things you're thankful for each day. They don't have to be grand achievements often. It's the small moments that bring the most joy. A warm cup of coffee, a compliment from a friend, or a beautiful day. By intentionally recognizing these moments, you create a habit that rewires your brain to focus on the positive. 
Another powerful way to practice gratitude is through verbal expressions. Take a moment to share your appreciation with those around you. A simple thank you can have a profound impact on your relationships and create a ripple effect of positivity. Gratitude not only enhances our well-being, but also strengthens our connections with others, fostering an environment of support and love. Think back to moments in your life where gratitude illuminated your experience. Perhaps it was a time when a loved one surprised you with a thoughtful gift, or when a friend stood by you during a tough time. Those moments often bring back feelings of warmth and connection. They remind us of the importance of acknowledging and appreciating the kindness of others. Recalling those experiences serves as a powerful reminder of how gratitude can transform our perspectives. When we reflect on the positive moments in our past, we recognize the network of support and love that has surrounded us. It deepens our appreciation for the people in our lives and the experiences we've shared, reinforcing the idea that gratitude is a crucial aspect of our journey. What if you committed to making gratitude a central part of your life? How might your outlook shift if you consciously focused on the positives every day? Imagine starting each morning with a gratitude practice or ending your day by reflecting on the things you appreciated. The potential to enhance your life through gratitude is immense and it opens the door to a deeper sense of fulfillment and joy. Number seven, live with intention. Imagine waking up each day with a sense of purpose and clarity, knowing exactly what you want to achieve. The world feels vibrant, alive with possibilities. You approach your tasks with enthusiasm, feeling empowered to make choices that align with your values. Living with intention is about being proactive in crafting a life that reflects who you are and what you believe in. It's a liberating experience that can transform your mundane routines into meaningful journeys. Living with intention means consciously aligning your actions with your values and goals. It's about making choices that reflect your true self rather than merely going through the motions. This practice encourages mindfulness in every aspect of your life, prompting you to consider how each decision contributes to your overall well-being and fulfillment. Start by defining your core values. What matters most to you? It could be family, creativity, health, or personal growth. Once you have clarity on your values, evaluate how your daily actions align with them. Are you spending your time and energy on what truly brings you joy and fulfillment? If not, consider setting specific intentions for your day. For example, if connection is a core value, you might set an intention to reach out to a friend or family member each day. Living with intention also involves reflecting on your goals and aspirations. What do you want to achieve in your personal and professional life? Setting clear, achievable goals gives your actions direction and purpose. When you approach each day with intention, you create a roadmap for your life that guides your decisions and interactions. Think back to times in your life when you felt a deep sense of purpose, perhaps during a project you were passionate about, a journey you embarked on, or a relationship that brought you joy. Those moments are often characterized by a sense of flow, where everything feels aligned and meaningful. Recalling these instances can serve as a powerful reminder of what living with intention feels like. When you reflect on those times, Consider what actions led to that sense of fulfillment. What choices did you make and how did they align with your values? Recognizing the importance of intention in those moments can inspire you to cultivate a more purposeful approach to your life moving forward. What if you approached each day with a renewed sense of intention? How might your relationships, work and personal fulfillment shift as a result? As you contemplate this question, think about the various ways you can integrate intention into your daily life. From setting daily intentions to evaluating your long-term goals, 
the possibilities are boundless. Living with intention invites you to create a life that resonates with your true self. Number 8. Reflect on your day. Envision curling up in a cozy chair at the end of a long day, a warm drink in hand, as you take a moment to reflect. The day's events unfold in your mind like a movie, and with each scene, you feel a sense of satisfaction and clarity. Reflecting on your day can be a source of joy and learning, allowing you to appreciate the little victories while gaining insights for tomorrow. It's a gentle practice that helps you connect with your experiences, fostering personal growth and resilience. Reflection is a powerful tool for self-awareness and growth. By taking time each day to think about your experiences, you can identify patterns in your thoughts and behaviors, celebrate your successes, and acknowledge areas for improvement. This practice encourages a deeper understanding of yourself and helps you cultivate a positive mindset. Consider setting aside a few minutes at the end of each day for reflection. You might choose to journal your thoughts, outlining what went well, what challenged you, and what you learned. This simple exercise not only clarifies your experiences, but also reinforces the importance of gratitude and intention in your life. It helps you recognize the progress you're making, no matter how small, and encourages you to set positive intentions for the following day. Reflection can also be an opportunity to process your emotions. If you encountered challenges or frustrations, taking time to acknowledge those feelings can help prevent them from lingering and affecting your well-being. By examining your day with compassion and understanding, you create space for healing and growth. Think back to moments when you took time to reflect on your experiences, perhaps after a significant event, a personal achievement, or even a difficult conversation. Those moments often bring clarity and insight, allowing you to see the bigger picture. Reflecting on your past can remind you of the growth you've experienced, the lessons you've learned, and the resilience you've developed. Recollect times when reflecting helped you make sense of your experiences. Perhaps it was a pivotal moment that changed your perspective or a realization that prompted personal growth. These reflections are like snapshots of wisdom that can guide you as you navigate future challenges. What if you committed to making reflection a daily practice? How might it change your understanding of yourself and your experiences? Consider the ways you can integrate reflection into your life, whether through journaling, meditation, or simply taking a few moments to think quietly. The insights you gain from this practice can empower you to navigate life with greater clarity and intention. Number 9. Focus on your character. Imagine standing tall, feeling a deep sense of pride and confidence in who you are. Your character is the essence of you, it encompasses your values, beliefs, and actions. When you focus on building a strong character, you create a solid foundation for a fulfilling life. Embracing your true self brings a sense of happiness and authenticity that radiates to those around you, fostering connections that enrich your journey. Focusing on your character means prioritizing the development of your values, ethics, and virtues. It's about being intentional in your choices and ensuring they align with who you aspire to be. This practice not only enhances your self-esteem, but also influences how others perceive you and the impact you have on your community. Start by identifying the core values that resonate with you. What principles guide your decisions? These might include honesty, kindness, courage, or resilience. By defining these values, you create a blueprint for your character development. Each day, strive to embody these values in your actions and interactions. Ask yourself, how can I demonstrate my values in my work, relationships, and daily life? Character building also involves self-reflection and accountability. Regularly evaluate your actions and decisions to ensure they align with your values. 
If you find discrepancies, take the opportunity to learn and grow from them. This practice fosters integrity and authenticity, allowing you to cultivate a character that you can be proud of. Think back to individuals who have inspired you through their character, mentors, friends, or public figures who embody the values you admire. Reflect on how their integrity and authenticity impacted your life. Those moments often serve as powerful reminders of the importance of character in shaping our experiences and relationships. Recollect times when you felt proud of your own character, perhaps during a moment of kindness, courage, or honesty. These instances highlight the power of character in influencing our lives and the lives of others. By focusing on character, you create a legacy of authenticity and integrity that can inspire those around you. What if you made character development a central focus of your life? How might your relationships and experiences deepen as you strive to embody your values consistently? As you ponder this question, consider the ways you can actively work on your character each day. The journey of character building is ongoing and dynamic, offering endless opportunities for growth and connection. Number 10. Remember your mortality. Memento Mori. Imagine sitting quietly, the world around you bustling with activity, yet you're at peace. A soft smile graces your face as you contemplate the beauty of life's fleeting moments. Remembering your mortality, or memento mori, isn't a morbid practice. It's a profound reminder to cherish each day and live fully. This awareness invites a sense of gratitude and urgency, urging you to make the most of your time on this planet. Memento mori is a Latin phrase meaning, remember that you will die. It encourages us to reflect on our mortality, reminding us that life is finite and precious. Embracing this concept can be transformative, prompting us to prioritize what truly matters and live authentically. It serves as a powerful motivator to act with intention and purpose, fostering a sense of urgency to pursue our dreams and connect with loved ones. Consider incorporating memento mori into your daily life. Take a few moments each day to reflect on the impermanence of life. This could involve meditation, journaling, or simply sitting in silence. Acknowledging that our time is limited can help us cultivate a greater appreciation for the present moment, enhancing our overall well-being. Remembering your mortality also prompts you to evaluate your priorities. Are you spending your time on what truly matters? Are your actions aligned with your values? This practice encourages you to let go of trivial concerns and focus on what brings you joy, fulfillment, and connection. Reflect on moments in your life when the fragility of existence became apparent. Perhaps it was the loss of a loved one, a near-death experience, or simply witnessing the passage of time. Those moments often serve as wake-up calls, reminding us to treasure our relationships and experiences. They highlight the importance of living fully and authentically, embracing each day as a gift. Recollect how those experiences shifted your perspective on life. Did they inspire you to pursue your passions more fervently, to express love more openly, or to take risks you had previously avoided? Remembering these pivotal moments can serve as a guiding light encouraging you to live with intention and appreciation. What if you embrace the concept of memento mori as a daily practice? How might it influence your decisions, relationships, and overall approach to life? Consider the ways this awareness could reshape your priorities, inviting you to create a life filled with meaning and purpose. By remembering your mortality, you empower yourself to live fully and authentically, making every moment count. As we wrap up this journey through Stoic principles, I invite you to reflect on how you can incorporate these practices into your daily life. If you found value in this video, drop a hundred in the comments below to show that you're among the rare few who are committed to self-improvement and personal growth.
Your engagement speaks volumes about your dedication to living intentionally. Remember, if you're serious about transforming your life, don't miss out. Subscribe to our channel for more insights and actionable strategies. Join a community of like-minded individuals ready to take their lives to the next level. Let's continue this journey together.